Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. Hello to my fellow 10 subscribers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the Create Your Own Kawaii, Kawaii, Kawaii Crystals. Um, today was supposed to be a tutorial on how to make resin shot glasses for Christmas, but I got, um, I got chocolate drunk last night because we have, I mean, you know, we have off today for the military. Um, basically, yeah, I got really, really drunk last night and I slept a lot today and my car was in the shop today, but, uh, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> If you notice, uh, we're in a new part of my house. This is my kitchen slash laundry room. Let's get started. Again. Oh, okay. All right. So we get, ooh, these are bigger than I thought. I thought they were going to be like this big. So we get a mold. We get a, uh, uh, the fuck? An emoji wearing head head headphones, a pizza, and a cute little hedgehog. Let's see. By the way, this is for ages six and up. Um, googly eyes. Ooh, we get seven colors. I wish you would have had like a black in here, but the colors are pretty nice. They're they're not too girly. They're some are on neutral color neutral. Some are natural colors, and then some are really bright and pretty colors. And then we have our instructions. Let's get started. Okay. Oh, this is really easy. See, I already have doll fur in the molds, and why are you in my kitchen? Don't worry, my dogs are very much loved. All right, so. I'm not gonna do the colors and patterns they gave us. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I don't wanna go exactly like the box. So this seems like a fairly straightforward, fairly easy. I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Thanks. So I need you guys to not judge me. Yes, I am using a cereal container to prop my phone, but that is only so I can give you a better view of what's going on in here. So first we're gonna do the, 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 the hedgehog. Okay, that's pretty neat. So, press it, press it. Press it, press it. Ooh, it's already sticky. Oh my God, did you see that? Uh, no, I worked so hard for that one. Okay, so you definitely gotta pour these in slow or they're just they're gonna screw up. Damn it. I don't understand how upset that just made me. I want to cry right now. I'm like, eh. 
this point I'm just oh, okay whatever okay we're fine we're fine we're fine we're gonna make it Ugh. okay I'm gonna place it on a paper towel up side down and we're gonna wait to see what it looks like I'm gonna get some silicone mold and I'm gonna see if we can do this with silicone mold since I have so many leftover crystals be right back so with it being the holiday season I was gonna get some Christmas molds but today was supposed to be a shot glass tutorial so we're gonna make crystal shot glasses. Obviously, once these shot glasses are done, I will not be drinking out of them. They will make awesome decoration, but I wanna see if these crystals can really hold their shape because that would be pretty badass. So, I don't know. The container that we're given originally is a plastic container or mold, and then I have a silicone shot glass mold. So, without further ado, my loves, let's get started. Let's get started. Those were supposed to peel. I think I was supposed to, I don't know what I was supposed to, because they said don't fill it all the way to the top. Oh, this is oddly satisfying. But honestly, what what am I supposed to do with these? I'm gonna keep this mold as much as I hate plastic and I'm gonna see if I can do some resin pieces. Wow, that was, well, this one probably effed up because I poured the water right here. So I'm pretty disappointed, but for the most part, they're smooth. Okay, last but not least, our lovely hedgehog. And we still got a few more minutes left on um, our shot glass that we can't drink out of until I layer it with resin or keep it for decoration, which, uh, whichever comes first. Okay. So, they're rough on the back, but they're smooth in the front. I don't, I don't really get, I don't understand, what's the point? Like, they're really big, so I wouldn't want to put them on a backpack or anything. You don't get the shape that you want, because if you don't pour the water the right way, it completely distorts it. And as soon as these crystals get wet, there's nothing you can do. You can't fix it. You can't adjust it. You're, you're stuck with what you got. But we'll see how the shot glass comes out. Let's get to the fun part. The shot glass, that is. Okay, so it's, wow. That actually came out a lot better than I thought and it's so cute. Yeah, I need to like, 
I need to seal this in resin or something because it just all right you guys well that was today's um review kit yeah we'll call it a review kit i enjoyed it do i think a six-year-old would enjoy it um and, um eh, no not particularly it doesn't have a lot of playability you it takes not even five minutes to make all of the crafts and then you have to wait 20 minutes do not bite your sister it takes five minutes to make the craft, and then you have to wait 20 minutes for the crafts to dry. And then when you're done with the craft, there's absolutely nothing you can do with it. So would I get it for a six-year-old? No. I'd get it for an older kid, maybe somebody 10, maybe somebody who works with clay or works with resin. Because with this mold and with these crystals, I've proven you can use silicone molds, and you can most likely, obviously, you can use resin with this mold. So it's, it has a lot more playability if you're a little bit older with a lot more creativity. But I wish I knew where else to get these crystals so I can work a little bit more. But anyway, we want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to our channel. Thanks. See you guys on Thursday.